Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> why do you think uh, you play villains so well? Because I'm mean. I mean, <laughs> You're not. Yeah, You're so I'm, I'm not. I'm a hard ass. I'm mean. I, I <laughs> oh, no, I guess uh, my face doesn't fit on <laughs> on a nice... No, that's not true. I play nice guys as well. I, I guess... Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's fun. I think the villain role, when it's well-constructed, is mm -hmm. great to play because he has more colors than than uh, than the hero. The hero is just one kind of person that is... Mm -hmm that overcomes everything when the villain has always to fight against yeah. against the fate and the circumstances to try to obey. You know? Salza, he has a particular way of moving, yeah. which I really enjoyed. What was the physicality? Like, what were you thinking you were like during that? We, I wanted to bring this idea of of, uh, of uh, uh, rage and rage. Mm -hmm. uh, when you embody rage, when we are in rage, we suffer, we have pain, uh, emotional pain, physical pain. Only by name. Uh, and that is what gave me the key to bring this Fine. way of moving, like he was really almost dying it. at every step. Like that. He needs to get out of that uh, uh, dying area, dying zone, mm -hmm. by yes. revenging right. his, uh, his uh, uh, next power. Uh, and you look almost unrecognizable. How do, how long did it take you to get into that crazy makeup? Well, that will depend if I had a I don't know a hot dog with <laughs> with a mustard and ketchup, and uh, because then they have to clean it, <laughs> and it will take more time. But apparently, I mean, obviously, it was like three hours. Like crazy, that's a lot of time. A three hours, time. three hours every day. There is a ride in the Pirates of the Caribbean, though, which you can go and it's based yes. on the previous installments. Do you think there will be a ride based on this one and there will be a character for you? I wish. I would love to <laughs> see that. I was in the in the ride of Shanghai, in the oh, Disney yeah, okay. Shanghai, because we opened the movie there. And the ride of Pirates of the Caribbean there, it's 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 uh, really like breathtaking, breathtaking. Would you take your kids to a ride like this? Yes, yeah, for the right, yes, not to the movie. The movies, uh, <laughs> they're too small, still. Uh, do you think uh, playing villains, you always have to be slightly empathetic of the villains and justify what they do, what they are? I think you have to have some empathy for every character in the movie. Otherwise, you don't care. Mm -hmm. And that's part of the problem when you play, like, playing characters. At the end, no matter if it's a fiction or it's a comic movie, whatever, you need to care a little bit about the people that you're trying to follow. Otherwise... Just What's the point of dinner? Yeah, exactly. So okay. that's why that, that's the challenge. I'm just going to. No way. What? <laughs> You're probably used to dying in every movie you do. That's true. That's true. That's a good point. I die that's a such lot a big in burden. Maybe that uh, I, I'll become eternal. Maybe, <laughs> Maybe in real life, hopefully. That's the hope. Uh, but hopefully not. I don't want to be eternal. This really amazing exhibition in here. And as a bonus to Javier's interview, I thought I'll show you this little exhibition I visited. It had real costumes used in the movie and a Jack Sparrow made of Lego. I'm not really sure why. But anyway, don't forget to like my videos, comment and subscribe to my channel. Bye and enjoy the exhibition.